Hi guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to do an episode about powder. So I will do about pressed powder and loose powder as well. And these are some of my favorite from all the powders that I've been using or I have a chance to try before. Of course, there are so many brands out there that I don't have a chance to try them all. And you can always leave a comment of what you tried before that you love. What I like doesn't mean what you will like. I only share my opinion and my team opinion. And you can take my tips or my advice about these powder. But if you don't like, you don't have to use them. These are just what I'm sharing. I'm going to talk about pressed powder first. The first one I will talk about is for someone who do not like powder like who do not like powder or I know a lot of us will stuck in the old days that you think when you put a little powder on the face that will age you or make you look older. For myself, I love powder. I think that, you know, it set the makeup well, it blur the skin out, it's great for red carpet, you know, a little powder and it just helped to blur out, I mean, beautifully when someone go on the red carpet with the light you don't get all those shiny from the flash so each person will like differently what kind of powder they like but i just give some of the suggestion and i hope you will try one of these here the first one as i said already is for someone who do not like powder this one is from ray morris invisible mattifier she didn't even call this powder because it's really a mattifier so it is like this you can use a little bit and you just mat the area that you like if you like the dewy skin but then again you know sometimes when the skin is too dewy in photograph you will look greasy so you can just use a little bit of this and you just dab certain area that you think is gonna get a lot of flash maybe the little t-zone or you can use it to touch up or this when you do a fashion shoot the photographer say i don't want any makeup i want no powder i want nothing on you can use this to match certain area to make sure the makeup is looking good and you know some of those snobby photographers for sure that when they see a little drop of powder and they're gonna start freaking out because i have been there before this is a perfect one for you you use a little sponge and you just dot certain area they're undetectable this is very colorless. This is transparent and it's created from a makeup artist from Australia. It's clear gel like powder. Like I say, it doesn't have any extra coverage. So people will love it. It's velvety finish. It's good for men. I have this myself and for no makeup look, you can just put it on dab a little bit. Vegan, cruelty free as well. The next press powder, actually this is considered like the first press powder. I would like to talk about is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I love this one. A lot of people love this. It's very finely milled powder. It's great to set makeup. You can use this alone as well. It does create that soft and velvety finish that when you apply, it's just really natural matte finish. It does contain skincare products such as uh, rose wax and almond oil. So it's never feel dusty when you reapply them. The only thing that I think is on the negative is it does only have four shades. She used to have, I think, two or three shades and now she have like four shades. And But I wish they have a little more shade than this. But even four shades is pretty universal. You still can get away with a lot of different skin color for that. I like it a lot. Um, if you like this kind of formula, and wanted a drugstore, you can try the one from number seven. It's called N7. Uh, it's almost identical, but in the drugstore version. I'm sure the ingredient might be a little dif different. I hate when people use the words like dupe because when a brand sells certain price point, it's also because the ingredient inside, because the cost of the packaging, the cost of everything, that's why it comes to that price point. And then another brand make, I mean, feel almost exactly the same. 
and for a lot of cheaper price point it doesn't mean it's exactly the same product it's because it's cheaper make a different country you make in some country that cheap labor cheaper ingredient and cheaper packaging uh, that's why the price point like that so sometimes i just want to still gonna don't want to take a credit away from a brand that trying to make a product and beautiful package beauty of everything and people say oh it, this is a dupe you know like it's a lot cheaper no it's not exactly the same product so but if you want a similar feel of this product is the number seven powder is very similar one thing i would like to mention as well is recently they start to sell refill as well because before when we try to depart them it's really hard it's the most impossible to depart this one because the glue is very strong but now they make is for consumer friendly for environment friendly they sell the depart version so you can just pop it up and it just you know you just repeal the powder and you keep the same compact chanel le beige healthy glow shield powder it is a beautiful powder. It's multi-use powder. You can use as setting powder or you can use as a bronzer. You can use like a deeper shade and you can use as a bronzer as well because the formula is quite sheer and quite easy to blend. So you can use that as a bronzer as well. It's radiant finish and it does have that fine pearl pigment. It's just really beautiful pressed powder and it does have seven shades. For myself, I use the darker shade to give myself a little contour, and that's what I use. The last press powder I'm talking about is the Gucci Matte Beauty Powder. This is light to beautiful coverage powder. It has natural finish. When I say light to beautiful coverage, it means that if you someone who do not like foundation, you just want to use powder as your coverage as well, you can use this to build a more coverage for yourself and you know it's become like a um, powder foundation for you it does contain like a powder puff underneath here because some don't have like short tuber she doesn't have a puff for that at all so you have to use a brush or a puff yourself and um, it does have 10 shades so it have a lot of shade range for you it's just beautiful packaging as well so let's talk about loose powder the first one i would like to talk about is the refined skin finish water based loose setting powder this is a it's, it's kind of a special formula this is great for someone who do not like powder as well it does have that natural finish it is a water based loose powder that very hydrating that it had that cool into touch so when you use the puff or brush you put on it's kind of like cooling sensation it's pretty much no uh, there's no powder at all it feels like almost like very undetectable for me you know it's vegan and cruelty free it only have two shades one is more like a pinky undertone i would use that on a lighter skin and one have this like a yellow undertone i think it's go for a deeper skin tone it's pretty universal so you can use for someone who have deeper skin tone you still can use the other shades as well it's quite beautiful formula i use this on people who have mature skin people who try to avoid powder and just want to matte down a little bit this is what i go to the next one is a product for mac that it was one of my favorite for a long time they changed the name now, but I only have the old packaging. It used to call MAC Prep and Pram, and they used to have like a compact powder as well. It's the same formula, it's quite beautiful. So now it does call MAC Cosmetic Studio Fit Pro Set and Blur Weightless Loose Powder. This is uh, translucent and colorless. It's great for set makeup if you don't like too much powder. It does absorb all the oil, it controls the shine, it keeps that natural matte finish. Um, very, very sheer coverage, very little detectable. If you do makeup on male grooming, this is a great powder for you to use. Or on male, if you want to use a little powder, this is a great one. It also has tinted powder version as well if you want more shade than that. But the one I suggest is a translucent. 
and the tinted one is still pretty much the same it's just that you have you know like a little more different skin color so you feel more comfortable when you use because you know the translucent sometimes if you have a deeper skin or olive skin you would say oh my god that color is not for me so mentally you want something a tinted close to your skin tone then you can use those as well the one I'm going to talk next is the Givenchy Prism Libra Loose Setting and Finishing Powder. This is one of my favorite. I use this a lot. The only thing is it comes in four different color enhancing shades to create this blurring effect. So it's a little confusing people. So when you see in the bottle like this, it doesn't have just one shade. It has four different shades. So you have to put it down and you shake them up so all the color to like blend together like it does have like two illuminating shades and two correcting shades and you like it's all mixed together to create a powder that you're going to use so it is a little confusing for you to know which one to choose when you shop on the website so it's something you might have to read you know to find out exactly which one you do but the great thing is that is this is very popular among you know makeup artists or influencer or youtuber so you can find out easy on the internet you know what shade is perfect for you the powder come in six different shades so you have quite a good choice there for pale skin to deeper skin tone it's a great powder it is great for you know you all over or you can use for baking it's great the next one we are talking about is Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Soft Radiance Setting Powder. This is one of my go-to. It's very silky smooth powder. It is talk free. It helps to control shine. It does have very light coverage. So if you someone who do not like a lot of powder, this is a great one for you. Or you are new into baking or you are new into you know do all these things with the powder and you don't want to have a lot of deposit this is the one for you it have very natural finish and it does have five different shades this one is the huda beauty easy bake loose baking and setting powder it's quite beautiful it's soft matte finish it's finely meal formula. It's quite soft learning finish when you bake. It's good for you want heavy baking. It's great. Uh, it does have medium coverage, so it does have a lot of deposit. You know, like the Rare Beauty or Shivanshi, they have very light deposit of the pigment. So if you like more deposit when it comes to powder, this is a great one for you. The good thing about this is they have a lot of shades they have like i think nine shades so you have a lot of choices the only thing is gonna be negative for some people for me it doesn't bother me at all so it does have that floral uh fragrant a little bit some people don't like fragrant you might not like this for me it doesn't bother me because fragrant doesn't bother me so that's something i want to mention as well the last one i would like to talk about is also one of the cold favorite is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is like cold classic. It's been around for a long time. Everyone loves this powder. It does have matte finish. It have for all skin type. This is great for you just set the makeup, baking, do shaking, whatever you like to do. This is great powder for you. The only thing I wish like they didn't discontinue many shades because they used to have many shades. Now, it's only have four shades i think because those are the four shades that sell the most so they keep them the four shade but in the past they have a lot of different shades and i like that as a makeup artist we have a lot of choices but now they have only four shades and now they have a new version that kind of blurring version i think for me it's still very similar um, but it is a beautiful powder so that all I cover for powder today. I know some will disagree with my choices, but that's okay because makeup is very personal, you know. My personal preference doesn't mean the same as yours. And you can always comment the below your favorite and your reason. So when all the viewers, when they see it, they can learn from that and they want to try it as well. And if you didn't catch what I was saying or the name of the product I was saying, you can always go down to the description box and find all the link and all the name. We listed very detailed everything for you. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy this kind of format in the video we do. And always give the channel a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and please do because we love to see the number growing to encourage us to create more video for you. And don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well to see our other contents. Thank you.